this is how you can make an invite logger system for your discord.js version 14 bot so let's go ahead and get started before i show you how to do this i would like to say that you can get the source code for this video and other videos on my channel by purchasing a channel membership on youtube or a discord server subscription on discord on youtube if you get the super god or custom bot tier you will get access to that source code and if you get the custom bot tier me and my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot over on discord if you get the god or custom bot tier you will get access to the source code and of course if you buy the custom bot tier me and my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot if any of this seems interesting to you go ahead and view the links in the description below to get started with this and with that let's go ahead and get started with the video all right so the first step is we're actually going to go to our schemas.js file and we're just going to go ahead and create invite schema now if you don't have any of this set up please watch the mongodb guide in the description below if you don't do that none of this will actually work so for your schema you're going to need a guild which is going to be a string and you're going to need a channel which is also going to be a string and it should be called invite schema with the name invite in here so now that you have this set up we can go over to moderation and we can go ahead and create invite logger.js so we're going to start by doing const and we can get slash command builder we get embed builder we can get channel type and we can get permissions bit field and we can do equals require and we're going to get discord.js now we can do const invite schema equals require and we're going to get dot dot slash dot dot slash schemas slash invite schema just like that now we can do module dot exports equals we can open this up we're going to say data and this is going to be new slash command builder we can go ahead and do dot set name and this is going to be invite logger then we can go ahead and say a description and for our description we can go ahead and say set up the invite logger system we can add a sub command and this is going to be command arrow function and we can do command dot set name and this is going to be set up and then we can go ahead and set a description for our command and this is going to be set up the invite logger system then we can go ahead and add a channel option and this is going to be option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be channel we can go ahead and set a description and we can say the channel you want to send the invite logging in then we can go ahead and do set required and we're going to make this true then we can do add channel types and this is going to be channel type at guild text now we can actually go ahead and copy this entire sub command and we can go right under the sub command and we can actually go ahead and paste it now we're going to go ahead and delete everything but the description right here and then we can go ahead and add a parentheses back then we can go ahead and add a comma we're going to do async execute we'll do interaction and we can go ahead and open this up in here we're going to go ahead and check a few things so we're going to do if and we're going to say no interaction dot member dot permissions has and we're going to do permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator can go ahead and return await interaction or apply do content and this can be you don't have permission to manage the invite logger system in this server and then we can go ahead and make this informal next we can go ahead and get our options so we can do const options equals interaction and then we can do const sub equals options that get sub command then we can get our data so we're going to do const data equals await invite schema a fine one and this is going to be our guild and we're going to get interaction.guild.id now we can come down here and do switch we're going to get our sub we'll open this up we can do case and this is going to be set up and then we can add a semicolon here we're going to do const channel equals options that get channel and this is going to be channel we can do if data we're going to return await interaction dot reply we can say content and in here we can go ahead and say the invite logging system is already enabled here and we'll make this informal and we can say else and we can open this up we're going to do await invite schema dot create and this is going to be guild which will be interaction dot guild dot id we can add a comma we'll do channel and this is going to be channel dot id and we can do const embed equals new embed builder we can go ahead and set a color and this is going to be blue and we can set a description and in here we can do white channel check mark and we can say the invites logging system has been enabled in and we're going to get our channel now we can do wait interaction dot apply and we're going to go ahead and pass in our embed so embeds and embed just like that now we can actually come right outside of this and we're going to do switch we can do sub we'll open this up we're going to do case and this is going to be disable then we can add a semicolon we can come down here and the first thing that we're actually going to do is we're going to edit this sub command because i forgot to do that above so up here we can do disable and then for our description we can say disable the invite logging system now we can actually finish what we were doing down here so we can say if no data we can return weights interaction to reply we can say content and we can say there is no invite invite logging system set up here and we can make this informal then we can go ahead and say else and we're gonna open this up we can say await invite schema dot delete many and we're gonna get our guild which is going to be interaction dot guild dot id now we can do const embed equals new embed builder we can go ahead and set a color and this is going to be blue now we can go ahead and set a description and in here we can do our white check 
mark again and we can say the invite logging system has been disabled now we can go ahead and do await interaction to reply and we're going to get our embeds and we can pass in our embed just like that so with that we are done with this portion so now we can move over into our index.js file we can start off by defining our schema so we can do const invite schema equals require and we're going to get dot slash and then we can do schema slash invite schema then we can do const invites equals new collection then we can do const wait equals require and we're going to get our timers slash promises and then we can do dot set timeout and we can do client dot on and we're going to get ready and then we can do comma async and we'll just pass in nothing and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to start off by waiting so we can do wait wait and we're going to do 2000 which is 2000 milliseconds which actually equals two seconds then after we're done waiting we're going to do client dot guilds dot cash dot for each and we're going to get async we can pass in our guild and we're going to go in and open this up in here we can do const client member equals guild dot members dot cash dot git and we're going to get client dot user dot id now we can say if no client member dot permissions dot has and we can say permissions bit field dot flags dot manage guild then we can just return now we can go ahead and say const first invites equals await guild dot invites dot fetch and then we can do dot catch error and we can just console.log our error and we can do invites.set and we're going to get guild.id comma new collection and we can do first invites.map and in here we're going to get our invite then we can open this up with an arrow function in here we can open this up and we'll do invite.code comma invite.uses then we can add a semicolon here so now we're actually done with this part of the code so we can actually make a new client.on event so we can do client.on we're going to get events.guild member add and then we can do comma async member and we can go ahead and open this up in here we're going to get our data so we can do const data equals await invite schema dot find one and this is going to be guild which is member dot guild dot id and we can say if no data we can just return now we can say const channel id equals data dot channel now we can say const channel equals await member dot guild dot channels dot cache dot git and we're going to get our channel id now we can do const new invites equals await member dot guild dot invites dot fetch now we can do const old invites equals invites.git and we're going to get member.guild.id we can do const invite equals new invites.find and we can do i arrow function i.uses and we can do this sign and we're going to do old invites.git and we're going to get i.code now we're going to do const inviter equals await client.users.fetch and we're going to get invite.inviter.id now we can go ahead and actually send this so we can do inviter and then we're going to come down here we're going to do a question mark and we can say channel.send and we can open this up we're going to say member.user.tag joined the server using the invite then we can do invite.code and then we can say from and we're going to get inviter.tag then we can say the invite was used and we can pass in invite.uses times since its creation we can do a colon down here next and we can do channel.send and we can say our member.user.tag joined the server but i I can't find what invite they used to do it just like that uh one other thing just remove the semicolon if you added it there and yeah so that's all we have to do for this system so we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out over in the discord server we can actually go ahead and test this out by enabling this system so we can do slash invite setup and we can go ahead and choose our channel so i'll just do general chat and as you can see it's going to go ahead and say my invite has been set up so now if i go ahead and create an invite so i'm going to create a 30 minute use and we'll give it five uses and we can go ahead and grant that invite link we can go ahead and copy it and i'm just going to go ahead and invite a few people and as you can see, as soon as somebody joined the server, it's going to go ahead and say that somebody joined the server using that invite I created from me. And the invite was used four times since its creation. And that's because I did have a couple of other people join. I just didn't show it. So now we can actually go ahead and disable the system for the video. So if we do invite log or disable, as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and disable the system. So that's how you can code an invite logger system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and just go ahead and join anyways, because it's a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.